I was on mute, but hello everyone. Welcome to this exclusive interview. I'm Sam with two M's and happy Monday to all of you. I hope you're all doing okay. We are starting off our week right. So I hope you're all staying safe, healthy, and hydrated. You know, it's super important to take care of your health, especially nowadays. But in just a bit, I'll be having a very special guest who will be joining me. And he is an artist on the rise who is so incredibly talented. And I can't wait to get to know more about him, his music music and everything else he has going on. So everyone, please welcome for the first time ever on a mix exclusive, Yuan Estrada. Woo! What is up, you guys? What is up, you guys? Hello, everyone, to the good people, to the good people on Mix Global and everywhere, Facebook, Twitter, and Kumu. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, I love this energy and I love this. Oh my God, you're just like, you know, let's go. Hello, everyone who's joining <laughs> us. I love this. Thank you, Yuan, for joining us today. We're so excited no, to have you. you. Guys. Thank, thank you guys for having me on here. Thank you guys for having me on here. Like, of I'm course. I mean, yeah, and we're also honored because I can't wait to get to know more. Like I said in our in, in my intro a while ago, to get to know more about you and of course Jung Music Mo. But before we get to you know talking about music, which I'm sure is going to be a lot of fun, how have you been? What have you been up to these days? I know there's a lot of things going on, no? But what? How yeah, have you been through it all? Um, I guess I guess you know I guess it's been really hard, you know, because because mm -hmm. for a while because for a while, do you have you guys ever had those feelings where where your life was just mm -hmm. like autopilot where? Oh you know, yeah. Where where you kind of wake up every day, you know, you go to school, like you go to school, like it kind of just normalizes after that. But when the pandemic hit, you just you just have this whole feeling of you just have this whole feeling of like like what am I gonna do with my day? You know, like because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have all because I have all this time now. But then you kind of feel a bit bored because like because mm -hmm. like you haven't because you because you can't do the things that you that that, that you want to do. Like you can't really hang out with your friends or like go to gigs or or anything or anything really so so i kind of mm. felt sad about it but you know i i've been doing ways to to remedy that and um yeah that's basically all i've been doing i've been playing games i've been listening to let's go to way too much way too much k-pop let's <laughs> go way too much K -pop. yeah we about to paint the town hey. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah um i've been also <laughs> I've been also, you know, I've been also, yeah, obviously school. Mm -hmm. Like I'm almost done, yeah. and um, yeah, and I and I and I did this remix too, which is which is super super mm -hmm. cool. You guys should listen to it. Oh my gosh! So that's a that's a lot, no, going on. I mean, I can totally feel you, you environment autopilot thing, especially in the last year and a half. Like especially because you have to do everything at home, so it feels very like, okay, this is what's happening in my life. I don't really know what's happening also at the same time. So everyone yeah, is crazy. kind of feeling. It's crazy. It's, really crazy. it's like and daming nangyari pero also wala so at the bra. same time. So bad, so and it's I feel like a lot of people can relate yeah, to that. And um aside from that, you said you know you're still going to school, which is great. You're almost done. So kaya mo yan. let's go, yeah. Juan. Um yeah. Let's do it. Let's finally. Do it. Um I yeah. know that's especially with online school, I can imagine, no? It's really it's really um, especially... difficult. It's really difficult. Yeah, how has it been? Um I, I saw or I read that you were actually taking music production, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so how yes. has that been? Um, music prod has been like music prod has been like uh, for me like such an amazing experience because like honestly mm -hmm. before before when I used to before when I, when I because like in way back in high school I, I tried mm -hmm. like when I was in Zabel I tried making like I tried making like I tried starting to make my own stuff but I felt like oh. but, like but I felt like I wasn't I wasn't doing it right or like or like I or like I didn't, I didn't have like a clear idea on what I was doing. <laughs> so the minute I got to the minute I got to music prod, I, I think it just all made sense because like of the people I met there, all my profs there, like mm -hmm. you know, like like a big shout out to them, a big shout out to them because mm -hmm. I really like I really learned a lot about mm -hmm. about this industry and like and like and like the tools and the tools that make it great and like developing mm -hmm. my own tools as well. So mm -hmm. I'm really thankful for that experience. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, like actual school. No, I can imagine, like especially um, being in a in a course like music broad. That's very collaborative. The vibe's very yeah, creative. Yeah. So I can imagine, like creative. actual going to school must have been like the energy must have been so different. Also, and having to do it online. How's that been? Like, no. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's such a, it's such a big difference because obviously because obviously. Mm -hmm. Like you can't really use you can't really use the facilities, 
mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. that have the equipment because like a lot of us sometimes could be like, like could be very low in equipment like 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 we wouldn't have like those those big like studio mixers yeah where we could, like where we could like touch the mixer and stuff and just do mm-hmm. and just do most of most of the mixing there and then mm-hmm. like some of the and then like i guess a lot of the things i had to learn i guess a lot of the things i had to learn online like like didn't resonate re- didn't really like resonate with me for a while because i'm not there i'm like i'm not immersed mm-hmm. in the environment as mm-hmm. well so mm-hmm. it's, it, it became really difficult to some point but you know yeah still, i'm still fighting I'm still fighting yeah you gotta do what you gotta do you know that's what yeah, they say for so real, for real, at least for real. you're still fighting um and still you know you're almost done so Kaimayan, we believe i in know you. right yeah. Uh, yeah it's the last push home stretch now um i can yes. imagine that feeling when i was in college too it's like okay let's go but you're also like oh my god it's ending soon like ending this is soon. life what am i gonna do <laughs> so like, uh, yeah yeah <laughs> that's, are, uh, that's yeah, the what crisis what am i gonna do yeah yeah. yeah, but at least, you know, music is really something that is, you know, your passion. Obviously, that's why we're talking about it here. But let's kind of go back to the big beginning. No, you and I actually read that you were like classically trained in violin, which I think makes you probably the second person I know who um, has ever played violin, which I think is so cool. But for you, like, Thank what you. was the switch from like oh. violin to like what you're doing now? Oh, my God. Like, um, yeah, as you see, my violin's right there. Let's <laughs> I go. Right um, I started playing violin when I was like mm-hmm. five. When I was about mm-hmm. five, like I got uh, formal lessons until I got formal lessons from when I was five uh, up until I was like maybe fourteen or fifteen. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's been a while. And then um, mm, that's I sort of I sort of wanted to switch to like to like actually actually before before I became who I am now, I mm-hmm. I I used to be or I still am or I still am a DJ. So, mm-hmm. so I don't know. I I I just, I just fell in love with the whole el- electronic music, like the, the whole electronic music sphere. Because I remember when EDM was like a bit popular here, like yes. when everyone when everyone was playing like, Tsunami. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whenever yeah whenever yeah when everyone was playing like Tsunami or like Animals, yes. and then like yes. I, I kind of like, rode that wave. And I and like I remember mm. um and I remember like playing EDM. Um, EDM in like recess or lunch when I was still in my mm-hmm. old high school. Wow! Like, the high school before the, the one I graduated in, yeah. Every recess and lunch, like 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 we'd have this like small like like the small DJ booth, and, and I'd be playing like EDM music. And, Let's and, go! And, 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 and then like some of the people would be like, "Hey, you can you can you turn your music down a bit, like just a bit, <laughs> like, like just a bit." Yeah. Yeah, cause it, cause cause like the other, cause like the grade schoolers were having class, and then I, I was I was I was playing a lot of bangers. So I, I don't want to, like, yeah. I, I don't want to disturb the people in the in the far like in the far end of the building. So I had to terminate. Oh, so considerate. But going, yeah, but going back to the whole classical music sphere, mm-hmm. the the sphere, I it never really left me, cause like for a while when I when it, when I moved high schools. Like I, I like I was like I was back in the whole orchestra sphere, so I was really so I was really still immersed in the world. I just I don't know. I kind of just I, I kind of just had like I, I can I was kind of just sad because like I because mm-hmm. obviously I, I had like other engagements. I, I kind of had mm-hmm. a lot of other engagements as well, so like mm-hmm. I couldn't really focus my time on it because like w- when you play the violin, like you really have to mm-hmm. like you really have to like give your life to it. Like like that's yeah. the, like you really have to give your life to that violin in 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 order mm-hmm. in order for you to be like like virtuoso level. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so uh, I so I kind of ran out of time for me to do that, but I was still happy to be involved with like the orchestra. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, from five years old to, like, 14, that's, like, a really long time, though. And you really stuck with it during that time. I mean, I was, like, classically trained in piano, but I quit after, like, three years. Because, like, you know, like, you, 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 you're, you're, you're kind of, like, your interests changed, right? But for you, kind of ran with it. And music has been always this thing that you wanted to do. And I love that yeah, it, like, kind of... It grew from just like classical to you know um, electronic yeah. EDM and all of that, and you really rode that wave like oh my god tsunami! I can super remember the time I know, that, right? that was super popular. I know, that was, that was so playing everywhere. That, that was playing everywhere. Like that was playing everywhere, yeah. and like animals also was like yes. playing everywhere. And yeah, yeah I, I I rode that wave really hard. But mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. aside from being like like like. Aside from being the whole classically trained, I was mm-hmm. like my Lolo was honestly like the biggest inspiration for me, mm-hmm. like into music, yeah. cause like, cause like, cause like my Lolo, cause cause my Lolo's in the band, cause my Lolo's mm-hmm. in the band, and like every and when I was like growing up, 
when I was like growing up, mm-hmm. I'd like hear like I I go to his gigs and then like he'd invite me and my mm-hmm. sisters to to sing, to Aww. sing and stuff. And he and he'd be playing piano, and he plays the piano mm-hmm. like really good, like really ah, uh, mm-hmm. like like he's so like he's so good with the chords and like yeah. Honestly, I I, I give him a lot of credit also because I I listen to good music also growing up like you mm-hmm. know like like all the Earth Wind and Fire stuff. Album. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, and like and like also some of the some of the Manila some of the Manila Sound stuff as well. Manila like, Sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Manila Sound. Yeah. That's so really that cool, no? Credit. Yeah. Super, yeah, super like cool. you have like that kind of inspiration coming from your Lolo, but also um you had your own obviously your own tastes then, which makes for a very well-rounded kind of like um knowledge on music. Which, like I told you, I love talking about stuff like this because you know, like everyone kind of has their own thing that they're into, but to have like people who like you, like very like genuinely curious about music and you yeah, just really yeah, love yeah. music. I think that's such a cool thing, especially if you're an artist, because it's about with what we see in music nowadays, it's always changing like genres it are so always, fluid it always changes, yeah. it's yeah. like genres now like you can't even tell what's what really like what is pop and all of that but i'm excited to see artists like you you know like really kind of grow into the kind of artists that they want to be so speaking of um your artistry wow your artistry i do want to know like now syempre, you mentioned that you know you're you started off like with violin and then you became a dj like you were really into edm but now at right, this point right. in your life after um taking up music broad and like you know taking up everything in the past years how would you describe your music now there's some, maybe someone who has never heard your music before this is this is Ooh. honestly honestly this topic has been really like like I, I I had to think about this for a while. I started <laughs> off because like 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 the mm-hmm. journey to being UN Estrada as my stage name. Mm-hmm. I, I I used to go by mm-hmm. a stage name. I, I used to go by Zephyr. Yeah, I used to go yeah. By Zephyr. Mm-hmm. I had a mm-hmm. I had a I, I had a mixtape out um called mm-hmm. June the third. And then mm-hmm. and then I basically de- described to people like this is my exact definition before. I was like, hey, mm-hmm. like Zephyr is like lo fi R M V. Let's go. It's like yeah. lo fi R M V. Because mm-hmm. like I used to mm-hmm. like like I used to love I used to love being being the being the lo fi guy. Cause like I because mm-hmm. cause I kinda got how uh, cause cause like my friend cause like I, I have this friend in CSB, his name is mm-hmm. like like his name is Mo. You, you could find him as young as young sleepy boy as well. Mm-hmm. Like he makes lo fi music. He makes lo fi music mm-hmm. and then and then we and we did this thing and we did one of one of the songs called um We Came So Far. Mm-hmm. Uh, we came so far. And then yeah, I became super lo-fi after that. But, yeah. now, but nowadays, but nowadays, since since mm-hmm. um, since stream is up now, I I basically just say I'm pop, because like oh. I just realized that pop is like the perfect definition, because like because like mm-hmm. pop pop is like so genreless now. It's yeah, so, I agree. Yeah, it's super genreless mm-hmm. now, so it doesn't mm-hmm. really matter whether you do rock so or true. anything. Like uh, like as lo- as long as it's like like as long as it has that has like like some of the qualities you hear in pop music, it's pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so I, no, so I, I agree. Pop. Yeah, pop is very um, genre less ish. Like, if you really think about it, because it goes with, you know, what's popular, obviously, that's what uh, pop music is all about. Like, before the bite, there was like the hip hop, like, we obviously, like, with Travis Scott, Drake, Ganyan, it was like, yeah, beca- yeah, yeah. it became like hip hop RB. And now yeah. we kind of see the resurgence of like pop punk, like emo, it's becoming more popular again know, nowadays, yeah. right? Like, that's with crazy. like. Yeah, my Olivia Rodrigo type, but she's pop, but she has a lot of influence that's like very alternative yeah, sour. pop punk. <laughs> sour. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. And we have like even like you listen. You said you listen to a lot of K-pop too. So by yeah, oh my it's god. Really, yeah, and I love K-pop, so I am dying to know who are your faves. <laughs> like um, who are your faves right now? Okay, so the story of my the story of my K-pop journey is that I used, be, I, I used to be I used to be such a passive listener of K-pop. Like yeah, I yeah. think same like, here. Mm-mm. Yeah, cause like yeah, cause like my my sister my sister I I have this I, I have this sister who's really like who's really into K-pop. Like even before when we were mm-hmm. younger, even before mm-hmm. when we were younger, like 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 she just listened to K-pop. Like she listened to like mm-hmm. Super Junior, Shiny, like like nah, second gen, cool. like like, f- yeah, like yeah. full second gen, like you know Sistar, mm-hmm. um, Wonder mm-hmm. Girls. So I kind of mm-hmm. grew up listening to like kind of liking that music as well, mm-hmm. and then the minute like and then I've been listening to Seventeen too like passively because because like, I, like I their love music is so lit. yeah Seventeen yeah, yeah. that's called carrots, and then yeah. um, <laughs> and then um, suddenly like I I started listening to Blackpink I started listening to Blackpink <laughs> and I just I fell in love with their music fell in love with their music, and then after a while I, after a while I became I became such a hardcore once. 
Let's like, go! Like, I, I went twice, fully twice. I went fully twice. Yes. And then, and then and then like a couple and then a couple after I started learning about other groups like Red Velvet, so mm-hmm. I became a Revel love. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. and then recently, recently, mm-hmm. I I became I became an orbit. Like recently, yeah. like I started listening to all the solos, like Eclipse, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, in the rain, like yeah. wow, beautiful songs. And then they even released a, an album like sometime, sometime mm-hmm. in June, which I really love mm-hmm. too. And then, and then after, and then I think like before I became an orbit, I I listened to Eyes mm-hmm. One as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, wow, super super good stuff. So now I'm I'm, yeah. I'm very I'm very deep in the hole now. <laughs> Yeah, Very it all starts. Yeah, I I totally get what you mean. Parang it just starts with one. Parang you li- just kind of you like as a passive listener also, and then one day it just kind of switches, and then you find yourself super deep in the hole already. And you're like, there's you gotta like no cause, going cause you, back because you gotta find that you gotta find that one group. Yeah, find that one group to really just that's push true. You inside, yeah. You know? Literally, they'll be like, "Okay, bye, yeet." They like drag <laughs> you inside, so like, yeah, that's it. I feel I super relate to you, but I mean, you know, having like what I said, a well-rounded kind of taste in music, I think, also helps artists like yourself, you know, kind of like, you know, um, keep up with what's whatever's going on with music and like what other people are doing also with the music, especially K-pop, the band Damin and with yeah, their music. It's so diverse. That. The yeah, it's so I, diverse really, I really, really feel that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I really it's really that. diverse. Um, so I think um, I really, it's I find it so cool. Like I'm like geeking out over how much you love music. Okay, also, yeah. I feel like yeah. I, I mean, I, I it's the best. It yeah, me too. So um, I, that's why I want to know. Like also for you, Yuan, how is it like when you create your own songs? Then especially like you, you said um before you like you would make your own songs, but you never really knew until like you took up music broad, right? So now yeah. like, what is your process like when you create your own songs? I guess I guess usually I because I I have this random thing where mm-hmm. where. Like I like I sing something or like I sing a beat. Oh like really? Yeah. Or or like I sing a beat, or mm-hmm. or maybe I I just like like I just think of a melody and then I start Mm-mm-mm. and then once I once I feel like I have a melody that once I ha- once I feel like I have a melody I want, like I just mm-hmm. I just go I just go into my DAW and start like and 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 start mapping out mapping out like the beat mm-hmm. like the beat the chords mm-hmm. everything, and mm-hmm. then after that after that because like because like. Cause after that, like it's so. Cause sometimes it's so hard to write. Like, e- like even when you have like a, a rough melody in mind, but that, like it's so. It's, it's that kind of feeling where like where like you don't know the words yet, but you kind of mm-hmm. know. But you kind of know where you want it to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you kind of just. So I I try to build around that structure as, as much as I can. Obviously, if I obviously if I feel like I need to change it, I'll change it. But majority mm-hmm. of the time, I, I I just go with I just go with that. I just go with that melody that that I think I want, and then just change it up a yeah. bit later if I need to. Oh, that's so cool! So do like melodies just come to you like randomly? Is that yeah, a thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, and and like a lot to and like a lot of that and a mm. lot of that melody and like a lot of that crazy like spontaneous melody like um mm. goes to I guess how much I, I how much I listen to music. Yeah. And stuff. Like every day, I I I always have a, like I always have like songs that I play. And then, oh yeah, and then and then suddenly and then, and then suddenly like inspiration just strikes and I'm just like okay, mm-hmm. like okay, should I do something about it? I'll probably sit in there mm-hmm. for a while and then if I feel like yeah. I have something, I'll start I'll start making it. Yeah. So, yeah oh, that, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you say was like the weirdest time or maybe place that you ever got like a melody in your head? Oh my god, the weirdest. Place, <laughs> the weirdest place. I think. I was I was in class. I was in, I, I, I guess I was I was listening. I was, in like a, I, 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 I was in like I was in like a minor class. I, I was in a minor yeah. class, and and I was feeling pretty mm-hmm. bad that day, because because mm-hmm. I was I, I was feeling pretty bad that day. I remember, and mm-hmm. I think it was like say some minor class go. I was just thinking of this thing, like and and suddenly mm-hmm. like a melody came to me, and 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 I was like super because <laughs> because because I wanted to like because I wanted to do something about it. Like I wanted to go yeah yeah my, my like 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 basically the floor where like. Our, our floor that has like a lot of pianos so i could just go there trying mm-hmm, to make sense mm-hmm. of what i just sang yeah so i it's kind of it's kind of like that, that that was one <laughs> weird place that was that was like one yeah. weird place and like another time mm-hmm. i was like lying in bed i was like mm-hmm. lying in bed like like all crying and i'm just like oh okay, yeah sad melody oh. all right let's go <laughs> <Sad>. oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, basically. I love that yeah. you were crying and it just translated in itself into a sad malady. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Like, I think that's great. I, you know, being able to translate all of your feelings into music. I mean, not everyone can do that. So that's really cool that you're able to do that. Even at the most random times, you know, um, it's really cool that you're able to create music from that and that makes me so excited you know, for all of the music that you have coming up but also recently you came out with a collaboration no? um, with Inigo Squal and Dave for um, first impressions off of uh, Inigo's album which is called Options so um, can you tell us more what it was like working on first impressions oh yeah um, mm -hmm. so basically so, so basically my so basically my 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 good friend, my my amazing homie, my amazing homie yeah. Dave, like texted me, mm -hmm. texted mm -hmm. me, hey, t texted me, hey, like, hey, do you want to do this? And I'm like, and I'm mm -hmm. like, and I'm like, yeah, sure, yeah, like, <laughs> like, yeah, sure, like, 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 send me the stuff, like, send me the stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I, so I, I started listening to the songs, and then like, first impressions was really the one that hit me because I was just like, hmm, I think mm -hmm. we could, like, I, like, I, I think we could do something about this, and like, and like, <laughs> and like. And like really just and really just and really just add like another flavor to the palette that's already presented. So, mm. so I I decided to so I I started I started working on it. I started working on it, and then I, ha I had like this really like rough layer, like 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 mm -hmm. this really rough layer, that that I thought that I thought hey you know like like if me and Dave work together we can like come up with this uh, with this amazing thing, like, yeah. like with this amazing thing. So like after that I I sent it to him, and then we started laying it more. And then mm -hmm. I, 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 I honestly, I honestly, I, I honestly thought I was, I, I, I was only going to be like, I, I was be co-producing it, but then, <laughs> but then he was, but then he was just like, you want to sing? <laughs> hey, let's go. Like, sing? I was like, I was like, okay, like, like, okay. So I started <laughs> singing. Okay. So I started singing and then, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm, I'm super thankful to, I'm, I'm super mm -hmm. thankful to the people at Tarshir who, mm -hmm. who really like, like who really, like who really listened to it and, and gave me amazing feedback. Like I'm super grateful mm -hmm. for that, and I'm super, I'm super grateful then for the people who've listened to it so far. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm, I'm really glad, I'm, I'm really glad that people like it. And I guess mm -hmm. that's, that's the story of how I, of how I made this thing. I love, I, you know, I honestly love, um, obviously your remix with Dave also of the song. I mean, I obviously love the original. Shout out to Nigo, great album options, but, um, I also really love, uh, your remix of it because it, it really gave it a different kind of spin. Though. I mean, although it's, um, parang, how would I describe? It's a little bit more, not so much, it's a little bit more like, not even laid back, but like, like it feels very, it feels the same, but also different from the original, if that makes sense to everyone who is watching us right now. And I really, really enjoyed um, the kind of music that you guys made um, for this one too. And I can imagine though, it was like a lot at first. I can imagine there's like a lot of things that you guys had to do, of course, because you had to balance obviously the original and then putting your own spin on it as well. So what was it like kind of hearing the whole thing na um, Yuan, especially putting it out no, and seeing everyone who loved the song? It's crazy because like, it's crazy because like I never, because like, because like I never thought that like, like, cause, cause I, I never thought that like it, w it would get this much attention. Like, I, the mm -hmm. minute I saw it on, cause, it, cause I got this, cause I got this email, cause, cause I got this mm -hmm. email, or it's either, it's either email or like, it's either email or like I got a text that it was on New Music Fridays, and yes. I, I, I was like freaking out. I was freaking out. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, it's on New Music Fridays. Yeah. And then I was so like, like honestly, at that time, like I couldn't believe it. Like I, I honestly still can't believe it now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If, if if I'm being honest, like it, like I, like eight K streams and it's still getting playlisted even after mm -hmm. a week. Like it's so Let's unreal go. to me. It's so unreal mm -hmm. to me right now. Mm -hmm. And like and like I guess the only other direction like after this is like is like to keep making more because like because like for a mm -hmm. while I for a while I was just like like for for because for a while I was just like you know because because it because I kind of felt I kind of felt that like I kind of felt that like my music was like or, 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 like or like the things i was putting out were kind of plateauing mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i so i really wanted to showcase i really wanted to showcase this new style like like or mm -hmm. like or like this or this more or this more well well produced sound that, that i've been trying to do 
and mm-hmm. and you know i i'm i i really like i really hope i really hope that like people really love the remix and stuff and now it's getting mm-hmm. now it's on new music fridays and everything so i'm just really mm-hmm. i'm just really thankful um, for everyone in this process really oh and I, i i mean that feeling of like plateauing though i feel like all of us really feel that at one point especially because especially nowadays with everything that's going on we're kind of unsure of like what we we should do or like what we can do diba? but this is like a huge sign for you to keep doing your thing obviously with like 8k streams so far and it's still being played by everyone like a lot of people are listening to it still getting playlisted and then it being on new music friday i feel like that's a huge sign that was like Yeah. Okay, you all keep doing your thing. Um, I gotta, so, I gotta, I gotta yeah. give like I gotta give the biggest credit though to my homie mm-hmm. Dave also like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like because honestly the way I met them like because like I I have this really close friend in I in my in my new high school like the one I moved mm-hmm. to before I graduate before I graduated mm-hmm. and then like um and like he was he was her cousin he was her cousin mm-hmm. so we kind of like got together. They, So we kind of got together, oh, wow. and, you know. I I really I really wish I could meet him in person though. He he's in Singapore and I'm in the Philippines, so. Oh yeah. wow, you've never met Ba yeah, like we've, ever. Yeah, we've never met in person. That's why I really want to like I re- I want to meet this. That's wild. Again. Like I'm super like, like dude, dude, dude. Let let's keep doing this, man. Like, like Dave, <laughs> yeah. shout out Dave, Dave. Mm. If you're watching this, dude. Like, yeah let, let's do shout this. out let's to do dave this. i mean that's really cool no being able to work with someone even though you've never met like in real life it's really a testament to like the internet is great i mean music if, you know music use responsibility everyone music <laughs> yes everyone man. yes that is yeah. so cool i love that and the things that you're able to do no right now there are like actual geo- geographical restrictions um, is so amazing. So to everyone who's watching, don't forget the stream um, First Impressions the Remix by Yuan and um, Dave, but also Inigo Pascual. It's available on multiple digital streaming platforms. You can also check it out on YouTube. So we're so excited for everything that you have planned and the things that you want to do, especially after this because I might kind of like reawaken the kind of music that you want to make. So what else can we expect coming from you, Yuan, after this? Um, I got like I got an EP that I got an EP that I'm working on. Like um, I just had to I, I like I just had to scroll through, like through like through, through like my thesis panel and, and see and see what mm-hmm. they thought of it, like, and see what oh. they thought of it. So yeah, I'm I'm continuing to work on that EP. Maybe it might come maybe late this year, late this year, or maybe early next year. So you know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna make make an announcement on my on my Instagram or on my Facebook or or wherever or wherever. Mm-hmm. There you go. But uh, you said that you had to screen it through your thesis panel. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. yeah. That was that, that was basically my the, like that was basically my um that that was basically my thesis because like in in in, like, wow. in my course in my course you can do a like like you you can do an EP as your thesis. So I oh wow. Yeah, yeah. I basically made the songs and then I I showed them the songs and then mm-hmm. and then w- w- and then once it was good to go. Once it was good to go, I'm gonna take some more time to make it even better, and then, um, and then after that, I'll I'll release it, and you know, hopefully, hopefully, you guys will like it. Oh my god, that's crazy! Like this is your thesis, but it's also gonna be your EP release. Also, um, yes. that's a lot, yes. but that's so exciting too. I can imagine there's a lot of feelings that go into you know. Uh, releasing this project but we're all so excited for it and after talking to you here obviously i can't wait to hear it and hear the stuff that you do on the ep so we're so re- so 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 excited for that but before i do let you go you want you have a message to everyone who's been you know listening to your music supporting you and maybe where everyone can follow you too on your social media All right. Uh, I just wanna I just wanna say to everyone, like to everyone who who's listened to my music or or who's followed my my journey from being Zephyr all the way up to, mm-hmm. up to all the way up to me being UN Australia right now. I just really wanna say like like thank you so much, guys. Like like it means it means the the absolute world to me that uh, that you guys that you guys listen to my music and support me, and yeah and yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, you guys. Like I know I know. Like I know for like a long time I've been I've been like really quiet I've been like really quiet, in in terms of music. But don't worry, like mm-hmm. don't worry, like I'm gonna be coming up with I'm gonna be coming up with like that with um with a lot with a lot of more things and mm-hmm. don't worry about that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So where can everyone follow you? You on on your social media? Um, you can follow me on Instagram uh, at mm-hmm. underscore Yuan Estrada. Uh, you could follow me. 
Uh, I'm still trying to organize my. I'm still trying to organize my. I'm still trying to organize my FB page because like I kind of mm-hmm. have to revamp it a little bit. Mm-hmm. But you can follow me on my Twitter also at at you mm-hmm. Estrada. So you can follow you me go. on my Instagram, my Facebook, or my Twitter. There you go, guys. So make sure to follow you on so you can stay updated with everything that he has going on. But also don't forget to stream his latest release, was which was the first impressions remix, which is by Nico Pascual, Yuan, and Dave, of course. So you guys can check that out on multiple digital streaming shout platforms, out Dave, but you can Nuevo. also check it out. Yes, yeah, shout out to Dave, and, but also and, you can check Nico it out Pascual on YouTube. Also, also. Shout out. Yes, shout out to Inigo Pascual as well. But shout out to you, Yuan, as well for joining us here and for letting me interview you for your first ever music. Um, you thank you guys like interview. <laughs> thank you, thank guys, you, really. thank you, thank you guys. Thank you for joining us. So of much. course. And thank you as well sa lahat ng nanood ng exclusive interview na to. We hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, this has been Sam with Tuans and Yuan Estrada. Thank you, everyone.